Welcome to Java Forum. Now I am going to show you how to install Oracle Linux 8.7 virtual machine on VirtualBox 7.0. So here uh, you can see that I have upgraded to latest version of uh, VirtualBox, VirtualBox 7.0. So now let us see whether Oracle Linux 8.7 supports uh, VirtualBox 7.0 or not. So now let me create one virtual machine and provide one virtual machine name and directory where a uh, virtual machine uh, is getting stored. Next I am selecting ISO image file. So I am skipping the another installation, click the next button. And I am providing 8 GB RAM and 4 CP core, around 40 GB dynamically allocated hard disk size. So finish it. Right click settings. So optical drive is a first device in boot order and pointing device will be USB tablet. So network I am selecting uh, virtual box host only adapter. So I am not connecting to internet. So it's a purely offline installation only. Okay, now uh, Oracle Linux 8.7 virtual machine is getting started for installation. So Oracle Linux 8.7 will be installed with the two kernels. This is the installation screen. English will be the default language. Select the installation destination. And software selection will be server with guy. Create the provide the root password. Create one user. This will be the login user. So now time and date accordingly to my local begin installation that's it so installation started so installation is completed let me reboot uh, oracle linux 8.7 virtual machine So there are two types of kernel, I am selecting the lowest version. So accept the license agreement, finished configuration. Okay, now well, let us log into the so right click choose the settings uh, display so I am changing the display settings accordingly okay now uh, I am going to insert Oracle Linux 8.7 DVD so I can able to see DVD is not mounted so I am going to mount the Oracle Linux 8.7 DVD ISO file Okay, so I am going to copy some RPMs from this uh, DVD. So all the RPMs are available in AppStream and BaseOS directory of this uh, DVD. 
So these RPMs are needed by VirtualBox guest edition software. So these are the RPMs I have copied. So switch to root user. So I am installing all these RPM in single shot. Yes, all the RPMs needed by VirtualBox case edition software is got installed. Now I am I am going to eject unknown this DVD. Next, I am going to mount or insert VirtualBox case edition CD image. Insert case edition CD image. That's it. Cancel the auto run. Now what are you going to do? Copy the content of VirtualBox uh, guest edition. Copy the VirtualBox guest edition content. Create one separate directory and copy it locally. Okay, now open the terminal. Such as a root user. Next, I am giving permission to that uh, virtual box uh, guest edition content. Next, I am going to the virtual box guest edition after. I'm going to run the script dot slash vbox linux editions dot run. That's it. So this will install the guest edition software. So guest edition software is installed successfully. Now I am powering off the virtual machine. Now go to virtual box, right click settings. General advanced tab, I am enabling shared clipboard and drag and drop. Next. Hard drive will be the first device for, for booting. So boot order is changed to hard drive. Start the Oracle Linux 8.7 virtual machine. So you can see uh, multiple uh, kernel is running. So I am choosing the lowest version of the kernel. Oracle kernel 4.18 I have chosen. Okay, now let me open the terminal. So I am typing some commands. So I am going to copy paste this uh, terminal output to the uh, Windows host machine to check whether shared clipboard is working or not. Yes, I can able to copy paste from Oracle Linux 8.7 virtual machine to virtual uh, Windows host machine. So now let me try this echo command and try uh, try to copy paste from Windows host machine to Oracle Linux 8.7 virtual machine. Yes, I can able to copy paste. So Oracle Linux 8.7 installation is successful.